eventually the specimen can't take that much pressure, so it begins to deform, and then eventually it's going to snap uh, pretty violently. So this course aims to uh, help the engineering students to develop an understanding of structure, processing, and properties of different types of materials. And the great thing about materials in the lab yeah, there we go. is just that you get to apply the knowledge that you gain in class to different testing systems and you get to develop or understand the microstructure of different materials and you can derive mechanical properties of certain materials like their elastic modulus and then also you gain experience with microscopy to analyze the microstructure of different elements. So by looking at both the microstructure and then the tensile properties they get from the testing, they can analyze the data to link them together to understand the relationship between them. Engineering is creating basically what wasn't there before and learning how can we use the things that are existing now, like the existing materials, in order to make things better, especially with the biomed side of things, of taking the things I'm learning about, of how regular engineering materials work, and applying that to like new biomaterials. Using the tensile testing systems really sets CSU apart from other schools in that you actually get hands-on experience using tensile testers or hardness testers, whereas people from other schools may not have that experience. I mean, one of the benefits of having lots of hands-on labs is it gives you that experience of, oh, this is actually fun. Mm -hmm.